So today we're looking at the Cloud Vocal iSolo GT10 wireless microphone system for guitar. What I'll do today is I'll just talk about it a little bit. I'll do an unboxing of the product, taking a look at all the different components. And then we'll also do a playing demo as well. But make sure to also check out the full review I have on the website. There's a link for that in the description, as well as a link to Cloud Vocal in the description as well for all the technical specs and things like that. So before we do the unboxing and the demo, let's just take a really quick overview look at what we're dealing with here. So we have a, a real microphone system. So there's a microphone here and in the back there, and it's going to, to go in your guitar and transmit to this receiver here, which has EQ and gain and effects on it as well. One of the things, well, there's a couple of things I really like about this. One thing, obviously, wireless is great. There's not going to be any wires connected to your instrument. That's fantastic. Plus, it's a real microphone. That's, that's a huge plus for classical guitar as well, because classical guitar can be hard to, to mic with piezo pickups and things like that. But the, one of the things I really like about this Cloud Vocal product is how easy it is to install. So you can take your, your transmitter here and your microphone and you just place it in this soft rubber holder and without even having to loosen your strings, you can just tuck it into the guitar. So we just, I'll do a close up of this in a second, but there, it's installed. So I've installed the device in the guitar and that's all it took. So once you plug this in, all you have to do is pop it into your guitar and you're good to go. You could also leave it in there um, during travel, but I would probably put it in its carrying case. But nevertheless, that, that easy to install um, aspect of the product is really key for classical guitar because a lot of classical guitarists, we play high-end fragile instruments Usually they don't have amplification included. We're not going to drill into the, the instrument to do that. And so we're always looking for convenient um, miking solutions, both, both for the stage that looks um, traditional in the sense of classical guitar without amplification. So you can have your amp far away, no wires or anything like that. Um, but making sure that we also have a system that, that works well and is, is low profile and, and easy to install without damaging or altering your instrument. And the fact that I didn't even have to loosen my strings is really important to me too because for casual gigs like on the run stuff, uh, that would be really important too. I don't want to chain, you know, loosen all my strings and retune. So it comes with a lot of accessories which we'll, we'll be going through, but Another great thing is that if you're having um, feedback concerns or issues, or if you just like the look of it better, it also comes with a sound hole option, which would reduce the, the amount of feedback that you could potentially get from, from microphone systems. So they've included both. It all comes with, with the iSolo GT10. And again, without even loosening my strings, I can just pop this right in. I don't even use any protective stuff on the guitar because um, this soft rubber is, is pretty gentle on it. And there we go. Fit right in. So like, the install is like five seconds long. So that, that's, a, that's a really um, excellent aspect of the product. In terms of the actual receiver, uh, we, we have some EQ on it. So treble and bass. Uh, we also have some gain adjustments, which is great. And we also have a, a number of effects. So it comes with a room reverb, hall reverb, arena reverb, delay, delay and reverb, shimmer, chorus, and flanger. So for classical guitarists, we're probably mainly looking for the reverb option, which will just add a little bit of space, especially if you're in a smaller um, performance area. Um, the classical guitar can sound um, very funny. Adding a little bit of reverb, reverb is nice when you're, when you're miking your instrument and all wireless. So let's unbox the, the product and take a, take a closer look. So right off the bat, a beautiful box. That's always a sign of a good company. Let's open it up. We have a beautiful carrying case here. And some accessories. 
really nice sturdy carrying case here. That's so convenient for, you know, on the run gigs. You just throw everything in the carrying case. And it's nice and strong. You don't have to worry about it. It's just such a convenient thing to have. And I'm so happy they included that. So here we have our effects and EQ unit. Another nice sturdy carrying case. So we have our power and we have a little volume input control and your, uh, your input device there. So I've unpacked all the accessories here. So we have the antenna front on here, which just screws in. So the way the microphone is gonna to attach to your guitar is that it will go in here, Just you simply just pop it in and then you're gonna put that in your sound hole. So simple, you just pop it in, put it in your guitar. If you're using the sound hole cover, same thing. Get that microphone in there, pop it in, and you're good to go. So easy and so simple. And let's just take one more look at the stage receiver. So we have our EQ and effects here. I guess one other option is that you can use um, these these sticky two-way sticky pads, and you could have the the microphone actually just inside your guitar, or I guess you could also like go to to there or something if you were worried about that. But that is another option that you have that they included here. They've also included a number of different outlets so that you're you're good to go no matter what part of the of the world you're in. And so you're all set up with your wireless device and it just comes with so many accessories and, and so much thought put into it in these hard shell cases. So it's, everything is just so far just looking spectacular, super high quality professional product. So, so far, as you can see, in terms of design quality and concept, this is an ultra high quality product and it's just brilliantly designed. It's just, it's the perfect solution so far, right? And a couple of other tiny like um, questions you might have. Um, the actual um, transmitter itself has three different preamp gain levels. So you can adjust that depending on your needs. Uh, the battery life, they say it lasts about five to seven hours. So that's, that's plenty long. It should be um, really you know, easily um, long enough for any application. So that's great. The range of the wireless system on regular is 50 feet. So there's a 50 foot range, uh, which is pr very, very decent. You know, most of the time you're going to want to be that close to your amplification anyway, so you can generally hear it and whatnot. Um, there is a booster on the receiver that you can hit, which extends it to a 100 foot range as well. They also sell an extra product, which is a USB interface. So it just plugs into your computer so that you can record right from your transmitter into the receiver and right into like GarageBand or whatever recording software you might have. So I think that's a, that's a really great little extra aspect. You might want to look into that as well. In terms of how it works with the classical guitar specifically, um, the smaller sound hole cover uh, fit both of my guitars. So both this factory made Cordoba guitar here, but also my custom made slightly smaller um, 640 millimeter uh, Douglas Scott guitar, which is a single luthier uh, made instrument. 
So this fit both of them, so that, that was really great. This was much too big. This is probably for like steel string acoustic guitars. Um, so this definitely didn't, but both come with it. So it, it should fit most standard sound holes. It also comes with two of the sound hole um, pieces as well. So I had to use the smaller one again. And it was still a little bit too big, but there's some little nubs that stick out. And the manufacturer even told me, like, if, if it doesn't fit, just take a little um, utility knife and just, and just take off those nubs. And then it fit perfectly. So there's a little bit of leeway there um, to, if you just take off those little end nubs, which I'll call them, uh, to make sure it fits in properly. Okay, so now let's do a sound demo of, of the microphone. And of course, one thing you have to realize is that there's a lot of technology filters here. So you'll have to mainly just take my word on how it sounds. But if you're thinking in terms of the video, you know, we're talking about um, a microphone going to a receiver, going to my amp, going into my microphones there, into my sound processor over there, into my computer, and then through your computer and your speakers. That's a lot of different, you know, uh, pathways there so quite distorted. I'll also do a recording straight out of the receiver into my sound interface so you can hear what it sounds on a more raw level but again none of these sound tests you can't take them very seriously because uh, there's just too much technology in the way when you're looking at it on your on your computer at your home and through all these different microphones and systems. Now we're going to take a look at how the system sounds through the amplification and I have the sound hole um, version in, in here. And of course we're in a small room here, so um, there's gonna be some proximity effect. So the bass is probably going to be um, amplified through these microphones a little bit. The microphones are about um, two and a half feet back from the amp, just out of your view here. What I'll do first, I'll just play the guitar over here a bit so you can hear what the natural guitar sounds like. And then I'll switch the amp back on. So if I just kind of play here, give you some idea. Now I'll turn the amp on and I'm actually going to just go out of the frame to make sure the microphones don't pick up any of the natural guitar sound and you're just getting the amp. discuss how it sounds to my ears um, without all of the technology in the way. I think in terms of um, a quick um, install of a, of a system, I think this sounds better than any other ones that I've tried. Um, piezo pickups are the, like the ones that go on the bridge or contact mics are very clean in, in their own way because they, they aren't microphones not picking up all the little noises. But nevertheless, this is a much more natural classical guitar sound, which you really can't get out of a piezo pickup. It's always a little bit different. So the sound, I think, is very natural sounding. Of course, the bass and mid-range is pumped up a little bit, but you can adjust that. I turn down the bass a little bit on the EQ here, and even a little bit on my amp, and turn down the mids a little bit on my amp as well. And I found that gave a very natural sound. Um, in other aspects of the sound and you can hear your fingers on the strings a fair amount um, I found like you actually have to adjust that microphone inside a little bit if it's a little bit tricky with the full sound hole cover but with the other one it's a little bit easier you can just kind of if you just turn it away from where your right hand is you get a little bit less nail noise and a little bit less contact noise but it's, it's pretty good. Piezo pickups are very loud in that way as well. I would say this is better in terms of like um, sounds of the guitar reverberating. Like um, 
any kind of like, you know, your shirt buttons or something hitting the instrument um, makes less of a sound with this, with this microphone compared to like a piezo pickup. Um, but yeah, so you get a little bit of finger noise, a little bit of nail noise, but generally pretty good. That was with no effects on. So if we turn the reverb up a little bit, I'll turn it up all the way just for a maximum effect. We'll turn it maybe halfway. So a subtle amount of reverb. Does really help with the sound. But in terms of cleanliness, you could hear even that squeak um, made a little bit of a, a, re, a reverberant kind of sound to it. So I would probably turn that reverb down pretty low, but have a touch of it in there just for, just for the effect. It does add a, a certain amount of space and depth to the sound, which is, is quite nice uh, for the classical guitar. Steel string and electric guitars, you, you wouldn't care as much, but like on the classical, you, you want a little bit of that depth and, and space in the sound. So I really do think that the, the having the reverb there is, is very important. It's great that you can just make all the adjustments here and then just walk away. It was actually quite strange for me to walk out of the frame and not worry about a cord stretching or pulling or knocking something over. It's all just wireless. So, so I just forget that it's even on the instrument because there's just no cord there. And on the classical guitar, that's always an issue. It's coming out here where your leg is or like between your legs or with the contact mic, it's like hitting the top of your guitar all the time. Really irritating. The wireless system, none of that happens. So it's just, it's so great in that regard. And so far, absolutely zero glitches with the technology. All the, it's transmitting in real time, um, everything's super quick, no problems at all. One thing I definitely noticed is that if you turn the microphone to face in different directions, you get a really wide variety of sounds happening from the instrument. So that's one of the advantages to this particular install method is that you can get your fingers in there and move the mic around more easily. With the sound hole cover, you get a little bit more feedback protection, which I didn't find a problem with this device at all. But nevertheless, in, you know, as you turn your mic up louder in a larger setting, uh, you might get some, so this is definitely helpful for that regard. But once you have this in, it's pretty tough to adjust that microphone. If you loosened your strings a lot, you could probably kind of put this in in this direction and have the microphone exactly how you want it. But because I was slipping it in underneath my tight strings, uh, it was a little bit hard to adjust that microphone. With this system, I could kind of get in there with my finger and adjust it. I have it pointing back towards the bridge, and I found that sound sounded the most natural. I did occasionally get a little bit of an electronic key sound um, from the high trebles, but I didn't notice it when it was plugged into the amp at all. So I noticed it a little bit through the interface, but that could just be all the different technologies. You know, it's going from the transmitter into the receiver, into, the, into my uh, universal audio interface, into my computer, through my computer speakers. A lot of pathways there. When I was trying it out with the amp, um, I didn't find any of that. So I was really, really happy with it. So I'd, I'd be very, very happy performing with this 
on in the, on a stage settings or casual gig settings where I'm playing live. So overall, what do I think of the Cloud Vocal iSolo GT10? Well, the wireless system is fantastic. No wires, I'm so free. I was walking around the room during the recording process, which was, it was just so amazing not to have a wire connected um, when you're amplified. So top marks for the design and the, the wireless system. It worked flawlessly the whole time. I liked it definitely best in a live setting through my amp rather than through my computer, but nevertheless, having it plugged into my um, sound interface might have caused too many pathways to be happening. Um, I would really be interested in trying out their, their direct to USB uh, interface for your computer. So that's a, definitely an option you'd want to try out if you're interested in recording with a device. How does it compare to real microphones or to or to piezo pickups. Um, I think it sounds better than piezo pickups. Um, it sounds more natural to me and it's a little bit more adjustable in, in the types of sounds you can get by adjusting that mic. So I think it's a much more professional solution compared to under the saddle piezo pickups or contact mics. It's much higher quality than that. Um, it's a little bit more expensive too, so that's that's a consideration for sure. But if you're you know if you want a good sound, definitely this is much better. In terms of comparing it to mics, well, microphones come in a variety of price ranges and combinations, so you can't really make that comparison. The, the good thing about this is how low profile it is. You could, if you were playing on a stage, people might not even be able to see it, so it's very low profile, and it does sound pretty good. It's in your instrument, so it sounds a little bit different, as all in-instrument microphones do. Obviously, a small microphone inside your instrument has its disadvantages in terms of sound. The classical guitar is very hard to mic, even with high quality, you know, thousand dollar mics. Uh, but nevertheless, this did, did a very good job and uh, in terms of, of, of what it's doing. The classical guitar has a lot of bass and mid range, so thanks, thankfully with the receiver and through your amp, you should be able to tweak it to get a, a balance that, that you like. And if you play around with that mic direction, you might also find that you can reduce the finger noise on the strings a little bit to make it work best for you. So, very cool device, excellent design. The company has gone all out with the accessories they give you and the packaging and the product. It's all super high quality. So I'm very excited and I hope that you're excited too to try out this amazing microphone system.